John, you need some help? Oh, no, I, I got it, Joe. I can do that. No, I got it. I got it. What, what's in there? Um. Hey, friends. Welcome back. You know, sometimes there is nothing more satisfying than accomplishing something completely on our own, right? I mean, what compares to that feeling of satisfaction knowing that you alone built that birdhouse or you alone uh, fixed that bike? It's empowering. It, it, it's great. But when we take that mentality and we bring it into our faith, we need to watch out. You, you know, the Bible really has no room uh, for Lone Ranger Christianity. It's, it's just not there. In fact, think about it. Where in the Bible do you ever see people really going on, in their faith on their own without any help or support uh, or training from others? Moses, right? He had his father-in-law Jethro. He had his brother Aaron. King David had his best friend Jonathan and then later uh, the prophet Nathan. Uh, you know, even the, the lone prophet, mysterious prophet out of nowhere, Elijah, by the end of his ministry, he needed a companion, and so God gave him Elisha, right? In fact, the lone rangers that we do see in Scripture that seem to try and take their faith into their own hands are like King uh, Saul, Solomon. In the New Testament, you see the sons of Sceva. Man, their stories kind of serve as a warning to us against the idea of just following God on our own. So why is the church necessary? Because real equipping requires real equippers. Look at what Paul told the Ephesian church in Ephesians chapter 4. Look at this. Verse 11, And he, that's Christ, gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds, that's the elders, and teachers, that would be teaching elders or, or pastors, to equip the saints, that's you, for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ. We don't just come to church to fill our minds with knowledge about God or our hearts with feelings for God. No, we come to church to get equipped. When you sit in a Bible study, Christian, you are learning how to share your faith, right? When you hear the word of God being preached to you, the word and the spirit are convicting you to go and serve your neighbor. When you bring your struggles to the elders for prayer, you are being strengthened to, in your walk with the Lord. When, when you get asked to join a ministry or to go on a mission trip, you're being trained to go and serve your God. But that cannot happen if you're not here with the body of Christ. Christians, we need other brothers and sisters in our walk, especially those that God has called to help train us in the faith. Listen, guys, I love you, and I hope that this has been encouraging to you and that it will encourage you to get to church as soon as you can and as often as you can. You know, remember this. Our mission, not just your mission, not my mission, not, not just his mission or that person over there's mission, our mission is to bring Jesus to the nations and to make him known. But no one person can do that on their own. And Faith Church cannot do that without you. So I hope to see you soon. God bless.